So today we're going to take a look at this uh, filament light bulb. Uh, this has failed and I'll show you uh, what, ex what exactly happened uh, shortly. Um, first of all I want to see if they pulled a vacuum in this, uh, this is glass. This is exactly the same envelope as a normal uh, tungsten filament light bulb. If they have pulled a vacuum that would be the most retarded move ever. Alright so for the purposes of this video I cobbled together a uh, light socket and so let's see what happens when we plug it in. And uh, yeah, so it makes this annoying clicking noise. Try and adjust the, the ISO. So as you can see, uh, one of the filaments is quite lit, uh, is, is quite dim, and one of them has a burnt out LED in the middle. So I'm suspecting those have something to do with it. So some of these are quite dimly lit. So there's one here on this side and this one here. Um, yeah, when you unplug it, it also looks kind of cool. I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but... So yeah, let's uh, tear it down and see what it has inside. Let's see. And I must stand back, I never did this before, so let's see. I don't know. Holy shit. Okay, so this is as far as I'm uh, comfortable taking this, so I've already cut myself in two different places. It's not too bad, I might live through it, but anyway, so as you saw, this had a vacuum pulled in it, which is absolutely moronic, so whoever designed this had absolutely no idea about, I would venture to say anything. Uh, so there's tiny, tiny shards of glass that caught onto the soft... Uh, phosphor coating. Obviously the two filaments are broken so we won't be able to test this uh, in situ. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the power supply looks to me like a buck, buck type converter. So we have a bridge rectifier there, a chip, uh, the number of which you probably can see if I zoom in a bit. There we go. So that's the chip and what looks like an inductor. The capacitor shows no signs of, of premature dying, aging. Um, 105 degree rated, so let's focus on that. Do we have that? 105. 400 volt, 3.3 uh, microfarad, so I have to take my word on that. Anyway, so yeah, basically this died because, I would venture to say, right, again, I'm not sure, but uh, these got hot uh, because of the vacuum that was around them, so they couldn't couple their heat onto the outside world, basically. Uh, so these got too hot. Um, and yeah, some of the bond wires inside basically failed, creating a kind of more or less open circuit type scenario whereby the buck converter probably was current regulating and some stuff happened right so the oscillating that you saw at the beginning so yeah i'm quite sure this is what happened if you guys have any other thoughts let me know in the comments and yeah have a good one